my channel. My name is Lacey. If you're new here, if you're not, then welcome back. This is my Amazon box. That's just sitting here to the trash can. But anyways, hope everybody's just having a good day. Um, so I wanted to come on here with some front porch shenanigans real quick before I get started with today's video. I'll go ahead real quick and tell y'all what I'm doing. I'm going to be re like doing some of my decor. Like I haven't got any new decor but everything that is in my hallway i want to go in my living room because you can't really see it in the hallway you know what i'm saying but before we get started i did want to talk a little bit about sadie so if you're new here um, i have a four-year-old daughter who has chiari malformation so it's been eight months since sadie had surgery and last week she went to the neurosurgeon for a follow-up some things that sadie is experiencing that she also experienced before surgery were hand tremors um, it kind of looks like somebody with like Parkinson's like her hands will shake really bad before her surgery That was that was the main thing that led me to see that like, something's wrong And then Sadie also had lots of other issues like sleep apnea. She had really bad sleep apnea Turned out that was caused by the KR. We went to the first neurologist and I was like, please help And so we were there for a year and a half. She wouldn't do anything. I begged for scans I begged you know for her to do CTs to look further, but she just dismissed us and said that Sadie had ADHD and for me not to worry. Um, and um, I, did, I still worried. Um, I did not feel like that was accurate because I personally have ADHD and my cousin has ADHD who I grew up with like a brother and I know I know it wasn't ADHD. You know what I'm Finally we got to another doctor. They did an MRI and um, she sent her straight to the neurosurgeon. She was like, oh, I don't like this. You know, she really didn't think that anything was going to be necessary. But when the neurosurgeon saw what all was going on, he saw the scans for himself. He was like, yeah, we need to, you know, we need to, to take care of this. So Sadie had her surgery. So after that, um, you know, Sadie was healing and everything. Her symptoms did seem to majorly decline, like pretty much go away. She had a sleep study the month after surgery and her sleep apnea was completely cured gone not a hint of it and this is something that we struggled with for golly three three years four years you know she'd always had sleep apnea and it was rough and about two months later the tremor started coming back um they were not as bad but over time and now eight months later the tremors are pretty much either the same as they were before surgery or worse. So we went to the surgeon last week for Sadie's follow-up and um, he wants to do a repeat MRI um, because he just wants to make sure that there is no fluid buildup on Sadie's brain or in her spine. I believe so. From what I understand, something called a syrinx. I think that's how I'm saying it right. Also, in addition to looking to see if there's any fluid on her brain or spine, he also wants to see if there is any scar tissue built back up around um, Sadie's brain stem. Any of that is the case, um, I'm pretty sure we're going to be looking at another major surgery. Um, I really, really, really hope not. Um, I'm praying that we go in there and that everything looks perfectly fine. If we do go in and the MRI is clear, and it shows nothing then i have more questions that need to be answered you know why are some of these other things happening the main concern that sent this into you know action with the mri is that um, sadie's experiencing nausea and she says her brain hurts whenever she's experiencing this nausea she has another specialist as well she has a couple but her other specialist said that um it sounded like sadie was probably having a seizure last sunday um, she was in the grocery store doing this and looking around like that. So she never does, she never does this like shake thing. Anytime she shakes, it's just her hands. It's like an intention tremor. Like when she goes, when she intends to grab something, you know, when she's making a moment, um, when she's making a movement to grab something, you know, her hands will shake. So this was something completely different than we've ever seen her do before. Um, we were literally in the middle of Piggly Wiggly and it was really it was um traumatizing i'm not gonna lie it was rough <laughs> um one woman so sweet um she prayed over sadie right there in the middle of piggly wiggly because it was a scary and rough situation it was really scary so and i was calling bubba and he didn't have service I kept calling him over and over again i was afraid to like put her in the car because i didn't understand what was going on so when we got home sadie did end up throwing up twice um and she was saying her brain hurt so but um, other than that, it has not happened any the rest of the week or this week. We're hoping 
that you know she doesn't have any more issues like that but she was saying that she threw up because her brain was hurting yeah i wanted so i just kind of wanted to update everyone on that and let y'all know kind of what is going on so yeah anyways let's go ahead and get on in here into this living room and see what we can do So before I start decorating, I do need to go through and clean up the living room because it's obviously kind of a mess. Um, I've got a lot of decor that I had already brought out that I was kind of going through, trying to decide what I was going to put in the living room, what I was even going to do. Because at this point, I literally had no plan. I was just, I knew that I did not like the way the living room was. Nothing's going to get in our way. We will be the biggest band in town. Mm -mm. Round and round the world we'll go. Putting on the greatest show So make sure that you don't miss out Just be there We're taking our shot Bring what you got We're going all the way to the top We will hear the sound of one million people Screaming our names when we're backstage We'll play loud, surfing the crowd Everybody's jumping around Yeah, that's the place where I wanna be Going on stage headline on a Saturday night this shelf was here when we moved in. It was actually in my bedroom and I never really liked it. I couldn't figure out what to do with it. It's been unpainted, unstained. It's just plain the way it comes, just regular wood. And I believe my uncle built it. I'm not really 100% sure. Like I said, it was here when we moved in. But I figured that I could actually do something with it because I did not want to get rid of it. I just didn't want it where it was anymore because it was a catch-all and I just didn't like the way it looked. It was too much, you know, natural looking wood. So I'm gonna do something with it. Make sure that you don't miss out, just be there. We're taking our shot, bring what you got. So the color I'm using is Pearl Gray by Valspar. I got this paint back in early, early this year, maybe February or something. And I got it from my local hardware store. I will say it was pretty pricey for this little quart. I think it ran me like 20 something dollars. So that was a little bit high. Um, but I do say that this thing is going to go a long way. It's going to be really good for like little home projects and stuff. I really, really, really like the quality of the paint. The only thing is I say, if you're going to use this paint, don't expect to get, you know, like a dry brush technique out of it. I mean, maybe if you do some extra things to make it look, you know, weathered or whatever. I kind of wanted the wood to, to kind of show through the paint, but this paint is pretty thick. Um, so if you're looking for a full coverage paint, y'all, this is the way to go. It's actually really good for full coverage. But other than that, if you're looking for home projects, you know, where you want a distressed look or anything like that, this is going to be really hard to use this paint to achieve that effect. That is the downside but I still love how this turned out. It actually exceeded my expectations. And while I'm painting this, Sadie is gonna be doing her own little craft. I set her up with the acrylic paint and some wood things that I got from Walmart and Dollar Tree a couple of months ago. And y'all don't mind, uh, old girl's belly sometimes hangs over. Or sometimes I forget to tuck it in my shorts. So we just gonna go with it.
Bubba flying up in what we call the community Honda. This thing has been passed around the entire family so many times. We've ended up with it, I believe, three times. That old unit is good on gas. Bubba drives it back and forth to work, and hey, it's trusty. If you want to talk, I'm right here, not gonna leave your side. Just feel free to open up when the moment's right. Across your face, it is written across your face. If you want to go out, we can go out. You can hide away just for one night. But if you want to cry, just let it out. I'm by your side. So while the shelf is outside drying, I started taking down things on the wall that I didn't want up there and kind of just like moving stuff around to try and make room for the shelf where I wanted it to go. the trailer and just got different decor that I had um, either set up on other stuff or just laying around that I never used and I started you know decorating the shelf the way I wanted it I did end up changing it probably like three or four times throughout the video because I would find a better place for something somewhere else and something better to go on the shelf
promised we would find the time Dreaming for eternity Creating perfect memories, yeah We hoped we were gonna make it Little did I know that time would take us to a place So I've had this popcorn machine in my living room for quite a while and it's still going to be in the living room. It's going to be behind the recliner. I'm kind of switching the white dresser and the popcorn machine out. It has a gimp wheel, so it's not something that I can just like pull out whenever we use it. Um, and I'm picking up random pieces of popcorn that fell behind it. And that's great. Um, but yeah, it's not something that I can just like pull out whenever we use it. So I needed to still keep it within range of, you know, the kitchen or living room. And Bubba's telling me some juicy drama. So, you know, that was my reaction there. Um, I'm taking down the Indian picture, which is my favorite. I'm putting it in the hallway. I got to find a better place for it. Um, and I'm just going to decorate this little area over here. And I do want to go ahead and apologize for the quality. When it gets dark outside, I don't have any natural light. And my living room is actually very, very dark anyways. So the quality of my videos kind of gets, you know, a little poopy once it turns dark. But hey, you still get the gist of it. You know, I'm not here to make a Hollywood movie. So, you know.
My subscribers don't want to see you build a boat motor. Yeah. You don't want me to build my YouTube channel. I'll outrun all of y'all. Bubba says he's going to run us all off of YouTube. Y'all, this is for y'all other YouTubers. Bubba has a plan to start building boat motors in the back I ain't bedroom. I getting on there and say nothing. I'm just going to look and they'll follow me. Somebody come get him. They got to take Gray Gray with them. Y'all say toodaloo, Bubba. So I got this lamp from my mother-in-law's thrift store a couple of months ago. Um, it says it was $15, but she actually gave it to me for free. Um, I didn't have anywhere to put it, and so I'm really glad that I finally found a spot because I do love the lamp. I think it's really, really, really cute. I want you here with me. Am I out of my mind? Or is this how it should be? You made me sing about love. So just tell me if I'm wrong. But it feels like love. So I'm cleaning up this huge mess I made. Anytime I do any kind of project or anything like that, I make a bigger mess. But either me and Gracie are really good friends and she's just telling me, hey, or my butt stinks. I really didn't quite figure that one out, but she was just a sniffing. And I did want to show y'all this plant that my mother-in-law gave me for free. We went yesterday and looked at a bed for Sadie, and we will get it on Friday. So I'm really excited to show y'all that. She's getting her a big girl bed. So yeah, y'all stay tuned for that if you want to see like a room makeover from Sadie's room. y'all that's it for today's video i'm really pleased with how my living room turned out i really didn't think i had it in me to like decorate or whatever and it might not look great to everybody i don't know but i mean i like it so hey that's all that matters right i'm the one that's gotta live here what y'all think i don't know i think it looks pretty good i'm actually really really pleased with it so anyways i just want to thank y'all for watching i hope i see y'all in the next one toodaloo